a key factor regarding the EndNote is uh, to install uh, a latest and a correct version on your PC or on your Mac. Uh, for example, I can show you uh, my EndNote version and uh, whether it is correct or not. If I can uh, click here so I, I can see that my EndNote is uh, the version is 20. This is the latest version, by the way, is 20.1.2 something. So there are uh, sub versions of this X20. I think it was released around 10 or 11 months back. And uh, I'm using the latest version. Uh, another is uh, another part is that you you should be able to to check its status that it is activated or not so you can say check this tab if for example if i have installed a trial version then this tab would have been still active and i i could have been able to click here and then enter the registration number to register my endnote so whenever you install if you install a, a trial version you should always purchase the license key or find a crack to uh, activate your endnote uh, this is very important because the trial version will give you very limited functionality uh, a series uh, of commands will not work and there can be uh, very limited uh, options available to you i can give you one example uh, if you have a trial version installed on your pc and you have not activated it you will only be able to import 10 references into your library and if you want to import more references beyond 10 you won't you won't be able to do that so but what if you activate your version you will be able to import even uh, hundreds and thousands of references into a single library so i would always recommend you to use uh, a correct or a licensed version of the endnote endnote plus i i would recommend you to lay to use the 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 latest version uh, for example for mac this is x20 and i think for windows it is around uh, 20 is uh, endnote 20 or 21 as well so uh, this is because this is uh, much more stable than the previous version. I have been using EndNote since 2005. I think at that time it was EndNote X5. Uh, then we had the X6, 7 and X9 version. After X9 there is a direct jump to uh, EndNote 20. So I would recommend you to use the latest version and in line with this you should always use the latest version of your microsoft office as well then they will have very uh, good and strong com compatibility with each other this latest version is more stable it has uh, many more commands it's uh, more compatible with the latest version of the office uh, there are many uh, options and functions that are not available in the previous version so for example if i talk about x6 uh, after a six, x seven, x seven, eight, and nine, and x twenty have uh, the function of importing a reference from a PDF file, but uh, the lower version, for example, x six, x five, or x four, they didn't uh, have that uh, option of importing a reference from a PDF file. So that is just one example. There are more styles of the latest journals that have been recently launched available in the latest version which are not available in the previous versions so i would always recommend you to use uh, the latest version latest and correct version or licensed version of your uh, endnote x20 and you can find this uh, this you can purchase the license key on the endnote website that is endnote.com you can just go there and uh, select the order you can go to endnote.com and you can and just he go here buy endnote x20 from here they will take you to a web page where you can select uh, even uh, there is a variety of the options here you can uh, even change the currency de details and then you can just purchase it and pay through your credit card so uh, this is very important that you use uh, the latest and a correct version of the endnote another very important function if your endnote is not active you won't have this sync option available to you so your endnote should be correct and you you should have a uh, a valid account on the my endnote.com only then you can sync your library online uh, with my endnote.com uh, website 